Marami sa mga millennials sa ngayon ang nahihirap ang intindihin kung gaano nga ba kaimportante ang pagpaplano ng pera. If you ask them what is long-term financial goals, most of them would say 5 years. Will millennials ever be able to reach financial independence if most of them would always say hashtag YOLO or you only live once? So why care for the future? Today we will discuss the common challenges that millennials are facing when it comes to managing their hard-earned money. I'm Chris Cervantes, this is Financial Planning for the Fast Changing World. We are now entering a demographic transition, meaning mas marami na ngayon sa population natin ang bata kaysa sa mga may edad. At karamihan sa mga kabataan ito ay mga nagsisipag trabaho na. Malaking dahilan ito sa tinatamasa ng ating bansang magandang ekonomiya. Magdadala ng magandang epekto ang mga millennials or Gen Yers sa ekonomiya ng bansa. Pero ang tanong, paano naman kaya ang kanilang magiging personal economy? Will they be able to afford to retire? Will they be able to achieve financial independence? So, what are the challenges that millennials are facing? According sa pag-aaral, 26% of millennials think that they could have freelance towards financial freedom. Ang ilan sa kanila ay umaasa na sila ay tatanggap ng mana mula sa kanilang mga magulang. Worse, ang ilan sa kanila ay tumataya ng loto at umaasa na isang araw ay mananalo din sila. Pag tinanong mo sila kung magkano ang sapat na pera sa kanila para makapag-retire, usually naisip nila na malaki na ang 10 million pesos. Unfortunately, if you're going to seriously think about your retirement and compute for your future need, baka magulat ka na maging 50 million pesos ay baka hindi pa enough for you in the future if you want to achieve the point of LOI or living on interest na kung saan magubuhay ka na lamang sa interest na kinikita ng pera mo. Fear of Investing Sa kabila ng modernong pamumuhay, karamihan sa mga millennials ay hindi pa din lubos na naiintindihan ang pag invest at karamihan sa kanila ay natatakot o hindi pa din handang mag-invest lalo na sa stock market. Up to now, only less than 1% of 100 million Filipinos are investing in the market. Huwag na tayong lumayo, maging sa pagsisave. Only 20% of Filipinos have an access to our banking system. So how are you going to expect that this young lad would perfectly understand investment instrument like bonds, stock, UITF, or even UL? So what can Gen Yers do to change their financial future and have a better path in securing their dreams in life? Sa mga kabataan, kung gusto mong mangyari ang lahat ng iyong pangarap sa buhay, you can follow some of this. Una, Try to find a trusted financial planner. Ask your friends, family member for recommendations. If you don't have one, you can also ask any of us from Cardinal Bui, especially if you are an OFW. Start building a retirement investment. The best time to start planning our retirement is when we receive our very first paycheck. But if you fail to do that, the next best time is now. Dump that fast. Kung maaga kang mawawalan ng utang, the better. Kung di rin lang naman magdadala sa iyo ng kita ang utangin mo, huwag ka nang mangutang. Pero kahit na pang negosyo ang utangin mo, dobleng ingat. Kasi dyan maraming napasol na magagaling na tao. Diversify your investment. Yes, napaka-uncertain ng financial market ngayon. Pero hindi ito dahilan para huwag kang mag-invest. So the best thing to do is diversify your investment. Don't put all your money into one instrument. And lastly, set up a budget. Know where your money goes. If you don't have a clear plan for your money, chances are isang araw gigising ka at malaking pala isipan sa iyo kung ano ang nangyari sa lahat ng pinaghirapan mo. Sa mga kabataan na gusto pang matuto kung paano nga ba palaguin, pakitain at ingatan ng inyong pinaghirapang kita, I am personally inviting you to please register on my free seminar on March 4. This seminar will help you realize many things in life, not only in money, but as well as the kind of life you want to live. It's a free seminar, but 
we can only accept limited participants. So register now to secure your slots. If you are married, I encourage you na isamang iyong asawa. Until next time, this is Chris Cervantes. Plan for your dreams, plan for your future, and plan for your life. And if you need help in planning your future, our mission is to help you realize it.